Looking to speed up your bookkeeping? Well, watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spent all day long helping business owners on their journey. And of course, one of the key things we get asked a lot for people that don't want to or can't afford to outsource their bookkeeping is how can I speed this up? And of course, internally, we've got a bookkeeping team that spend all their time trying to see how more, much more efficient we can be. And one of the key tools we use is something known as Dext, or what used to be called Receipt Bank. I always think Receipt Bank made much more sense, but they've recently rebranded. And I wanted in this video to cover this tool and just show you how it can speed up your bookkeeping process. Because I think it's one of these tools often people look at and think, I don't see how this is gonna save me any time, but I can absolutely tell you it will save you a ton of time once you get it embedded in your workflow. So before we get into it, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button below to get notified whenever we release more just like it. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into the actual interface and how it works, I think it's firstly worth talking about the workflow. Now, where this is best and where all the magic happens is when you connect it with another app. So you're gonna use your QuickBooks Online or your zero, and now both of those things have a solution where they can kind of do this either through something called HubDoc, which zero has bought and owned, which is a very similar, it's effectively a competitor to what I'm showing you here, and the other one, uh, QuickBooks, has an inbuilt app feature. And I'll touch on the kind of pros and cons at the end of, uh, of those, but uh, this tool works best with those. You can use it on its own. So if you just want to capture all of your costs, all of your loose receipts, it's brilliant. Because if you imagine when you're in your car uh, or your van, you know, you've gone into the shop, Got, got something for your business uh, and it can go in your pocket or in the glove box, you could potentially lose it, especially if you've bought it in cash and it's not registered in your bank and you lost that receipt, you could potentially use lose the tax allowance on it, the, the kind of relief that you would do, because you just missed it out of your books. Whereas capturing the receipts straight into the app that comes with this, um, is fantastic. So I'm the, one of the worst people for this. So I will, before I leave Costa or before I leave wherever I am, I will snap that receipt and make sure then if I do lose it, it doesn't make any difference. So there is some benefits just to having it what, generally. And what you can do if you don't connect it with anything is it's possible to kind of do your bookkeeping in here and categorize it and have Dext learn it. And then you can export that into a spreadsheet. So there is still a benefit to doing it, but primarily we're going to be talking about how it connects and, and works with all of the other the other apps. So uh, and. If for its history, it used to be called Receipt Bank, which made sense, it would be surprisingly for receipts. However, one of the big things that, where this can also help is you can also upload sales. So some people normally, if you've got a QuickBooks or a Xero, something like that, they've got an invoicing function in there. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna do your invoicing inside of those things. It makes everybody's life easier. However, sometimes people have got bespoke invoicing systems or project management systems that will produce an invoice and they prefer to use that now if that's the case what they've built is an ability to load those sales invoices into here as well and you can also kind of publish those straight through to the software so you do all of your kind of your bookkeeping here really and then you click a publish button and it pings it into the other software and it saves that might sound odd because you think oh that sounds like it's going to take a bit more time but absolutely trust me it doesn't it saves a ton of time our bookkeeping team here love this they've spent years using it and it really does add quite a lot of time and I think even when we first looked at it we were like mm, is this going to save any time trust me it does and of course what it does when you snap those receipts into your app well, there's a couple of ways of with getting the receipts in there I'll show you but it, when you do do that it will read times dates names tax rates and payment methods so a lot of the details and you can see we've already sort of set up a receipt here which I'll show you in a minute and it's it's picked up a few different things here now when you do that then you bookkeep in here and as I say you publish it so let's talk about how to get it in well you can use the app that comes with it, it literally is a camera app. You open it up, you put the receipt in it, and you click the snap button and submit it. And it will then come into here. The other way you can do it is you can add documents straight into here. So you can literally drag and drop it into here. You can send it through email, which is really cool. So it's got a unique email address. So if somebody just forwards you it by email, then you can just forward it into Receipt Bank using that email address. What's brilliant in here is they've put, they've now give you the option for two difference. So you can have an email address just for the sales stuff if you are using your own sales system, or you've also got a separate one then for your purchases, so that's fantastic. But one of the really cool things that this does is you can actually connect with, uh, you, obviously you're gonna connect it with your software to begin with, I haven't done it here, but you can actually connect with your with many suppliers so you can see add connection here if we did a full list let's tick bt you can connect with your bt account um, and there's a basically you put your logins in and things and it will automatically fetch some of the invoices from it which is obviously a major amazing feature if you've 
had to go on and you've got tons of online portals. There's about 1400 plus suppliers I think on here at the minute that you can use. It's gonna be a fantastic time saving app for you. So you're gonna be able to get that. But you can, you know, old school drag it in as well on your desktop. Now what I've done here is I've just snapped this receipt here. Uh, this is just a screenshot from the app itself if you were gonna use the app and it, it's brought it into here. So if I just go to costs in here, what you'll see is it, this is what it's read. It's read that I bought it here from BM, BM. It doesn't at the minute, because this is the first time we've used this particular receipt bank, it doesn't really recognize what it could be, but it shows me it's 20 pounds. And if we just click in here, you can see it shows me the receipt in here. And you can see I did uh, buy something for 20 pound, uh, some bin liners potentially, I don't know what that is actually, uh, for 20 pounds on that date. So it all worked out quite nicely uh, and it's in there. Now it's not got a VAT breakdown on the receipt, otherwise it would probably attempt to, to get this tax rate. And it's pretty good with this. Like all things, there is, it, it will make mistakes and that's why you have to review them all. Um, I think there's this kind of myth from the software companies that there's this beautiful automation where everything goes and you can set things to auto publish and all this to just ignore your viewpoint on it. But I would be very, very cautious at doing that because every, like anything, there can be errors. Um, and so I would generally cast your eye on it. But what you can do is, it will learn. So if you select another one of these categories, and this links with your QuickBooks or your Xero when it's there, so you've got the same categories here that you have there, then it will generally learn and, and kind of autofill that. But you can also set supplier rules up. So you can tell it to always do certain things, which is really useful. So you might have, for example, you might have a, a supplier where you're entertaining customers, where you wouldn't normally be able to claim the VAT back. So you might actually change the default tax and things like that. And you can add descriptions. It makes it really good for, for learning those rules. The other thing it will do is if you've got your banks connected inside of your software, so QuickBooks or Xero, you should have because it's part of the, the key reason why you'd want those softwares. If it sees this receipt and this transaction in that bank, it will suggest that this is possibly there. And you can actually go, yes, that's correct. And what it will do is when it sends it over into the software, it will also pay it off. So rather than it sitting there and you having another step of, because when it when, when you transfer it across into the software, it wants you to then go in and kind of deal with it in there as well. Like, how was this paid? But because it connects to it, you can actually go, yeah, yeah, it's paid. And it will pay it off inside the software. And then you'll just log on to your software when you reconcile in your bank account. Um, you will just see that there's a payment there for that amount and it will match beautifully. So again, it's just a time saver. It's a hard one to explain. And maybe we'll do another video that's uh, less of an overview where we could show you that in action but it really does add some time, uh, add, uh, save some time by, by having this that, that functionality in here. So that's the way you would normally do it. And of course, the other thing you can do with this as well is if it turned out that this wasn't the right thing, it's possible to split the receipt down into multiple lines so you can tell it actually, you know, some of it was bin bags, some of it was, I don't know, entertainment, some of it was stationary, you know, you can split it all down as well and it'll do that. And some of the competition apps will either charge you more for doing that or they don't handle it and then you have to do something inside of the actual QuickBooks or Zero, which can be a bit of an issue. Um, and again, that auto fetch we talked about where it'll pull invoices in, yeah, the other softwares, I think some of the competitors are catching up with this, but uh, native something like QuickBooks app won't, won't do that at the moment. And the app's pretty good at fetching it. Uh, the only issue is uh, on occasion you'll find currently at the time recording the video, some of them break. It's a bit like all these things there. They're reliant on, you know, uh, Dex talking to BT and on occasion BT just decides it's not going to work and then you've got to go in and press a button to get it to work again. But generally, it really, really is good. So, um, and then when you've done that, when you've said, yeah, okay, this is all here. So I don't know, let's just say at this point it was office supplies. And you can say, it says here, you know, do you want to do some supplier rules? Um, and when you've done that, uh, and you, you can just publish it straight into the software and it will appear. Now we're not connected, so there's no, there's no, there's no button, but you would normally just publish it straight into, the, uh, straight into the software and it would be done and that's it. So you can see the time saving um, when this learns is you're, just, you're back down to glancing at it and having a look and ha uh, is this right? And there's certain things you can do eventually, like it, you could, if you were really happy with a lot of this and you had rules, you can actually uh, sort of bulk click them and, and export them and, and all these kind of things. So it adds some time save in there as well. So that's an overview of how it works, uh, how it works versus their competitors. As I say, at this moment in time, QuickBooks has a, and we did a video on this, a way of adding receipts into it. But basically it kind of gets it in there, but then you still have to go into it and edit it, muck around with it and deal with it in there. So that, that that's not there. But I think it's just kind of just a way to get the photo into QuickBooks is probably the easiest one, whereas this is actually a full kind of 
bookkeeping solution built in. Hubdoc, auto entry, some of the other competitors, I think there's probably a whole video we could do on there. But again, sometimes it's down, it comes down to just interface. The pricing is slightly better with the way they price this. There's, there's a lot of other reasons. So for me right now, and we use all of those tools interchangeably f with clients, this one dexed at the time recording the video is the one that we would suggest if you want to look at those. So that gives you a bit of an overview for Dext as a whole. As I say, we might come back and do some detailed videos and show you the workflow. But believe me, it will save a ton of time if you get it set up right. We'll see you in the next one.